ladies out there. Oh, CrossFit, I can't do CrossFit because I'm totally trying to look good in my bikini and I don't want to be super bulky and muscular and flexing out because I've seen those girls on the CrossFit Open, right? Elite athletes. And if anyone's ever seen any elite athlete, swimmer, track runner, anything, they're going to be pretty elite. <laughs> so in physiology, your body has everybody's. I'm short, fat, Derek's tall and lean, whatever you want to call it. We all have what's called a set point. So you're stuck with your body physiology no matter what. Some of you are going to go lift weights and you're going to be a little bit more muscular than something else. Some of you are going to always stay pretty lean. It's just unfortunately, it's just how it goes. It's got to be to embrace the fact that your body's made up the way it's made up. You always want to be fit, right? I mean, lifting weights and all that stuff is going to make you more fit. So we know hormonally when you first train, what we call our high inter interval intensity training, we call it Tabata, just 20 seconds, as hard as you can possibly go, 10 second break. This type of idea increases HDH and testosterone in your body, which will then lean you out. We know that after you do a four minute workout all out, you're gonna burn fat in the next 24 to 36 hours. It's just physiologically what happens. As opposed to going and running for 45 minutes, it causes all kinds of stuff. It increases stress hormone, adrenaline, makes your body actually burn, I mean, uh, keep fat on it, causes you to become catabolic at times, it screws things up physiologically. We know 100% that a professional athlete and everybody that does CrossFit, this high intensity interval training that we teach is going to make your body function better and you're just going to become lean and muscular at times because that's the way your body's going to go. It is, it is what it is.